We'll start by working a slip knot. So here I'm working a slip knot. And now I'm going to work a total of 15 chain stitches. So let's work. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So here I have worked a total of 15 chain stitches. And now I'm going to skip two chain stitches from our hook. So this is the first chain stitch that I'm going to skip. This is the second chain stitch that again I'm going to skip. And into the third chain stitch, I'm going to work one half double crochet. And to work a half double crochet, we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the third stitch from our hook, trap the yarn and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops. So this created your half double crochet. And these two chains that we just skipped will also be considered as a half double crochet. So in total we have two half double crochet stitches. And now I'm going to work one half double crochet into this next stitch. So again yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops. So this is our third half double crochet stitch. We'll work one half double crochet again into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops. This is our fourth half double crochet. So now you can go ahead and work one half double crochet in each stitch till the end. And I'll meet you once I have reached here at the last stitch. So here I've reached at the end of this round and including these first two chains that we skipped at the start of our round, I have a total of 14 half double crochet stitches. So from here till here, you should also have a total of 14 half double crochet stitches. Again, don't confuse the first two chains that you skipped. So including these two chains, you should have a total of 14 half double crochet stitches. And now once you have worked the 14th half double crochet at this point we'll chain one and I'm going to cut off my yarn here. Pull it through to secure it and this completes our round one. For our next round I'm going to use a different yarn color so in my case I'm using this navy blue yarn color. I'm going to attach this yarn on top of these first two chains at the start of our round. So right here. So here on top of these first two chains I'll insert my hook like this. And I'm going to place my yarn behind my work like this. Now grab the yarn and pull up a loop like this. Yarn over and pull it through. So this way we have just attached our yarn and now I'm going to work four chain stitches. So let's work. This is one, two, three and four. Now these four chains will be considered as one double crochet and chain one. And we are going to work one double crochet again into the same stitch where we just attached our yarn. So to work a double crochet, We'll yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch like this, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. We'll yarn over and pull through the first two loops like this. Now you should be left with two loops on your hook. So yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. 
so this is how it looks so now since we are considering these first four chains as one double crochet and chain one so we have one double crochet chain one and one double crochet this stitch is also called as a v stitch because it looks like the alphabet v and now i'm going to work one v stitch into the next stitch and by v stitch i mean one double crochet chain one and one double crochet so let's work one v stitch here so working one double crochet we'll yarn over insert the hook into this next stitch wrap the yarn and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops this is the first double crochet of our v stitch now we'll chain one and we'll work one double crochet again in the same stitch so yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch grab the yarn pull up a loop you should have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops so this created our second v stitch this is the first v stitch this is the second v stitch now we'll work one v stitch into this next stitch and i'll also show you how i hide my yarn tail behind my work so let's work one v stitch here so that means one double crochet chain one one double crochet in this next stitch so to work a double crochet we'll yarn over insert our hook into the next stitch and now to hide the yarn tail i'm going to place my yarn tail above my crochet hook like this now grab the working yarn and pull up a loop should have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops that's the first double crochet of our v stitch now chain one and we'll work one double crochet again so yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch place the yarn tail above your hook like this grab the working yarn pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops so this way we have worked our third v stitch along with hiding our yarn tail at the back of our work so now you can go ahead and work one v stitch in each of the stitches the end and i'll meet you at the end of this round so here i've reached at the end of this round and in total i have worked 14 v stitches so let's count this is the first v stitch this is the second v stitch third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen so in total i have 14 v stitches and 28 double crochet stitches so once we have worked your 14th v stitch at this point we are going to join this round by working a slip stitch on top of the first three chains so here we'll insert our hook into the third chain stitch grab the yarn and pull up a loop like this and pull it through to work a slip stitch this way we have just joined our round at this point i am going to chain one and i'm going to cut off my yarn here pull it through to secure it so now our sweater will start taking its shape and this is how it looks and right now i'm not going to weave these ends because they are going to serve as the stitch marker for me so here we have just cut off our yarn and right here into the first v stitch we are going to attach a different color yarn but for now this completes our round two now for our next round i'm going to attach this green color yarn 
and I'm going to attach this yarn into the first V stitch that we made. So here in this V stitch, this is the first V stitch. I'm going to insert my hook like this and I'm going to hide my yarn tail as well. So I'm going to place it above my hook like this, placing this new yarn behind my work. Grab the new yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull it through to attach it. And now at this point, I'm going to chain four. So this is one, two, three and four. These four chains will again be considered as one double crochet and chain one. And I'm going to work one double crochet into the same chain one space where we just attached our yarn. So right in this space, we'll work one double crochet. So for that, we'll yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space like this. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop and work a regular double crochet. So yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. This is our first V stitch of this round. Now I'm going to skip the next double crochet and I'm going to hop on to this next chain one space of the next V stitch. So make sure that you do not confuse and this is the V stitch. This is the chain one space. So make sure that you don't go into the space between these two double crochets. So not here. Here. This is the chain one space. Okay. So working one V stitch into this next chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into this next chain one space, grab the yarn and pull up a loop and work a double crochet. So here I've worked a double crochet, chain one, work one double crochet in the same space. So working one double crochet into the same chain one space. This is our second V stitch. Now we are just going to work one V stitch in each of the chain one spaces till the end. Now again I'm going to work one V stitch into this next stitch. So working one double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one and one double crochet again into the same chain one space. One V stitch into this next stitch. One V stitch into the next stitch. So now you can go ahead and work one V stitch in each of the chain one spaces till the end. I'll meet you at the end of this round. So here I've reached at the end of this round and in total I have worked 14 V stitches. So I have worked one V stitch in each of the chain one spaces from our previous round. So this is the first V stitch, second, third, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So in total, you should also have 14 V stitches. So once you have worked your 14th V stitch, we are then going to join into the third chain from the first four chains that we made at the start of our round. So I'm going to insert my hook into the third chain. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop and pull it through to work a slip stitch. Now at this point I'm going to chain one and we'll cut off our yarn here. Pull it through to secure it. And now this completes our round three. For round four I'm again going to use our previous yarn color. So I'm using the same yarn color which I have used in my first round. So let's attach our new yarn. 
so here I have the same yarn color and I'm going to attach this yarn into the first V stitch so I'm going to insert my hook into the chain one space of the first V stitch so here we'll insert our hook placing this yarn tail above our hook and placing this new yarn behind our work grab the yarn pull up a loop yarn over and pull it through to work a slip stitch so this way we have just attached our yarn and now we are going to chain four so one two three and four these four chains will always be considered as our one double crochet in chain one and we are going to work one double crochet in the same chain one space so again we are going to work a v stitch so here i am working one double crochet in the same space and now we will work one v stitch into this next chain one space so let's work one double crochet into this next chain one space chain one and one double crochet in the same space we'll work one v stitch into this next chain one space so here in this next chain one space i'm placing one v stitch which is one double crochet chain one and one double crochet so here i have worked three v stitches in total and i'm going to skip the next two chain one spaces so this one i'm going to skip this chain one space and this chain one space and i'm going to work one v stitch into the following or the third chain one space so skip this one and this one and work one v stitch here so I'm working one double crochet into the third V stitch like this so I've worked one double crochet chain one and one double crochet in the same space so this is how it looks we have skipped the next two V stitches and the reason why I have skipped this because we are going to work sleeves from this space that's the reason I have skipped these two V stitches. Now I'm going to work one V stitch in each of the next four chain one spaces. So let's work one V stitch into this next stitch, which is our second V stitch. So after we have skipped these two chain one spaces, we have worked one V stitch here. This is the first V stitch. This is the second V stitch. We are going to place three more V stitches into the following three chain one spaces for a total of five V stitches. So this is the second one. Let's work the third one. This is the third V stitch. Working the fourth V stitch. working the fifth V stitch and now I'm again going to skip the next two chain one spaces for my second sleeve and I'm going to work one V stitch into this following V stitch so this one skip this one and this one and work one V stitch into the third V stitch from our hook or into the third chain one space from our hook so working one double crochet chain one and one double crochet into the same space we'll work one v stitch into this next chain one space and now we'll join this round by working a slip stitch into the third chain out of the first four chains that we made at the start of our round so insert your hook into the third chain grab the yarn pull up a loop and pull it through to work a slip stitch so now this completes our round four and if you notice i have five v stitches here then i have the space for the sleeves and i have five v stitches at the back and the second space for the sleeves 
Now for the next round, I'm going to work one slip stitch into the chain one space. So here I'm working a slip stitch and I'm going to work a V stitch in this space. So again, chain four, one, two, three and four. So here I've worked four chain stitches, which is considered as one double crochet chain one. And now I'm going to work one double crochet in the same space. So I'm just working a V stitch into the first V stitch. We'll work one V stitch into the next stitch. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. We'll work one V stitch into the next V stitch or into the next chain one space. So this is our first double crochet. Chain one and one double crochet in the same space. So I've worked my V stitch here and now I'm just going to work one V stitch into this next V stitch. Do not work V stitches into these two V stitches from the previous round. You just have to work V stitches into the V stitch from round four. One, two, three. From round four. Yeah. So here in this next chain one space or in the V stitch, I'm just going to place one V stitch. So one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. Now one V stitch into the following V stitch. Here in this round, I'm just going to work one V stitch into each of the chain one spaces. So again, one V stitch into this next chain one space. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in the same V stitch. One V stitch into this next V stitch. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the chain one space. Now again, one V stitch into the following V stitch or into the chain one space. So here I have worked V stitches still here and now again I'm going to turn back. Do not work V stitches into these V stitches. Instead you are going to work V stitches only into the V stitch from your previous round. So one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet to this next chain one space and working my last V stitch into the next chain one space so one double crochet chain one and one double crochet now we'll join the round by working a slip stitch on top of the three chains so here we'll insert the hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and pull it through to work a V stitch a slip stitch and this completes our round five in round five you should have a total of 10 V stitches so let's count so this is my first so this is keeping this as a mark this is my first V stitch this is second this is third four five six seven eight 9 and 10. So I have 10 V stitches in round 5. Now round 6 and round 7 will just be a repeat of round 5 wherein you are just going to work one V stitch in each of the chain 1 spaces. So you can either skip the video here and jump to round 8 or you can follow along.
So here I've reached at the end of this round and I'm just going to join this round by working a slip stitch on top of these first three chains. So this completes our round six. Round seven is just a repeat of round six. So here we'll work one slip stitch into the next space, three, four, one, two, three and four. One double crochet into the same space. One V stitch into this next chain one space. Chain one. So here I've completed working on round 7 and this is how it looks. Now at this point I'm going to chain 1 and I'm going to cut off my yarn here. Pull it through to secure it. And this completes our round 7. For the next round I'm again going to use the same blue color yarn. And I'm going to attach it here into the chain one space. So here we just attached our previous round. So right here in this space, I'm going to attach my blue yarn. So we'll insert our hook into the space. And holding this yarn at the back of our work, we'll yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull it through to attach it. And now we'll chain two, one and two. So now these two chains will be considered as our first half double crochet and now we are going to work one half double crochet into this next space. So let's work one half double crochet here in the next space. We'll yarn over, insert the hook into the next space, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the three loops to work a half double crochet. Now we are going to work one half double crochet into this next chain one space. So here I'm working one half double crochet. So here you can go ahead and work one half double crochet in each space around and I'll meet you here at the end of this round.
so here I've reached at the end of this round and in total I have worked 20 half double crochet stitches including these first two chains and now we'll join this round by working a slip stitch on top of these first two chains so here I'll insert my hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and pull it through to work a slip stitch and this is how it looks at this point I'm going to chain one and we'll cut off our yarn here pull it through to secure it and now this completes our round 8 for our next round I'm going to use the same green color yarn that I used in round 3 and I'm going to attach this yarn into the same place where we just joined our round so right here into this space here so we'll just insert our hook into the space keeping the yarn tail above our work to hide it and I'm going to attach this green yarn by placing it behind our work yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull it through to work a slip stitch and to attach this yarn now at this point I'm going to work one single crochet into the same space so we'll insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and work a single crochet. We'll chain one and we'll work one single crochet into the space between the next two half double crochet stitches. So here into this stitch we'll insert our hook, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull it through. Chain one. We'll work one single crochet in the next space. Chain one, single crochet in the next space. Chain one, single crochet in the next space. So you just have to keep on repeating the same pattern wherein you will chain one and work one single crochet in each of the spaces around and I'll meet you right here at the end of this round. So here I've reached at the end of this round and now to join this round I'm just going to work a slip stitch into this first chain one space. So here we'll insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and pull it through to work a slip stitch. At this point we'll chain one and we'll cut off our yarn here pull it through to secure it so I've just pulled my yarn inside and I'll be weaving them later on so this is how my sweater looks like so far and now let's work on the sleeves so now for the sleeves I'm going to use the same yarn color and we are going to attach this yarn so we'll turn our work the same way we were working our rounds initially and now here into this space this is the third V stitch. So this is the first V stitch of our round 3 so this is 1, 2 and 3. So into the third V stitch here in the chain 1 space we'll insert our hook, we'll yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull it through to attach it and this way we have just attached our yarn to work on the sleeves and now at this point I'm going to chain three which will be considered as our first double crochet so this is one two and three so now these three chains will be considered as our first double crochet and now we are going to work one double crochet on top of this chain stitch so here in the next stitch I'm working one double crochet we'll work one double crochet into this space between the two V stitches so here there is a space so we'll work one double crochet in the same space so basically we are just going to work one double crochet in each stitch so this is our third double crochet 
now we'll work one double crochet into this next chain stitch so working one double crochet here in the next chain stitch we'll work one double crochet into this space between the two v stitches so this is our next stitch as well We'll work one double crochet into this next chain stitch. One double crochet into this next stitch. And finally one double crochet into this next chain one space. So in total we have worked since we are considering these first three chains as our first double crochet, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight double crochet stitches. And now we'll just join this round by working a slip stitch on top of these first three chains that we made at the start of our round. So we'll just insert the hook on top of the three chains, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and pull it through to work a slip stitch. And this way we have worked our first round of the sleeves. Now in the next round we are again going to start by chaining three. So this is one, two and three. Again, these three chains at the start of every round will be considered as our first double crochet and we are going to work one double crochet in the next stitch. So here I'm working one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. So we are just going to work one double crochet into each stitch around. So since I've already worked three double crochet stitches, you should be left with five more double crochet stitches so you can go ahead and work one double crochet in each stitch round and i'll meet you at the end of this round so here i've completed working on eight double crochet stitches so including these first three chains i have worked a total of eight double crochet stitches and now we'll just join this round by working a slip stitch on top of these first three chains so we'll insert our hook on top of the three chains grab the yarn pull up a loop and pull it through to work a slip stitch so this is the second round of the sleeve with eight double crochet stitches for the next round i'm again going to work three chain stitches so this is one two and three we'll work one double crochet into the next stitch so i'm working one double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch so here i'm working one double crochet in the next stitch so here I've already worked three double crochets. You can just go ahead and work the remaining five double crochet stitches and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So here, including the first three chains, I have worked eight double crochet stitches and now we'll just join this round by working a slip stitch on top of these first three chains. So now you just have to go ahead and repeat this round three more times for the sleeves and I'll meet you once I have completed on my third round. So here I have repeated round two of the sleeves four more times. Now at this point I am going to chain one. We will chain one at this point 
and we'll cut off our yarn here pull it through to secure it so this is the first sleeve of the sweater now we are going to work on to the second sleeve of the sweater and to work on the second sleeve we are going to flip our work like this and right parallel to this sleeve you'll notice there's this V stitch so here there is the space that we left so here in this V stitch I'm going to insert my hook like this and we are going to attach this yarn here so we'll yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull it through and now at this point I'm going to chain three so this is one two and three we'll work one double crochet on top of this double crochet so here I'm working one double crochet on top of the double crochet of the v-stitch we'll work one double crochet into this space between the two v-stitches so here this is my third double crochet we'll work one double crochet into this next stitch so this would be our fourth double crochet one double crochet into the space between the two v-stitches this is the fifth double crochet working one double crochet in the next stitch this is the sixth double crochet one double crochet into this next stitch this is the seventh double crochet and one double crochet into this V stitch the next V stitch right here we we'll insert our hook grab the yarn pull up a loop and work a double crochet so this is the eighth double crochet and now we are going to join the round by working a slip stitch on top of the first three chains so for that we we'll locate the three chains so here are my first three chains now here at the top we'll insert our hook like this grab the yarn and pull up a loop and pull it through to work a slip stitch so this completes our first round of the second sleeve now at this point we'll chain three one two and three we'll work one double crochet into the next stitch this is one double crochet one double crochet in the next stitch so i've already worked three double crochets you can go ahead and work the remaining five double crochets and i'll meet you at the last double crochet stitch so here i have worked my eighth double crochet and now again i'm going to join this round by working a slip stitch on top of these first three chains So now from here we just have to keep on repeating round two of the second sleeve four more times same like what we did here and i'll meet you once i have completed on my second sleeve so here i have completed working on my second sleeve and now i'll chain one and i'm going to cut off my yarn here pull it through to secure it and this completes our pattern here so this is how our sweater ornament looks like I hope you like this pattern and if you like this pattern then please do consider subscribing to my channel like share comment and let me know in the comment section below how your pattern turned out to be how you like this Christmas ornament and how you are going to use this as thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.